cabinet. Um, the cabinet is uh, gathering here. The situation has gone beyond the limit. The situation is very hard. We are asking the people to protect us and stop the aggression towards us. We are helpless people that have nothing to do with all of that. There are no weapons or rockets here. We and our neighbor are respectful people. We were sleeping at homes and we suddenly heard an explosion and the stones started falling. So I opened the window and I heard the neighbors calling for help. So we came and found out a two-floor building that was full with, with displaced people, women and children collapsed on them. I don't know. We have been asking for help for three months. Nobody is listening to us. We are saying that again. Help us. That's enough. Children, elderly people, some were fasting, 
they were sitting and a rocket fell on them. They were displaced from Gaza to Khan Yunus and then moved to Rafah, thinking that it was safer there, but there is no safety. Among them were doctors, accountants, civilians, and most of them were children. Ten out of sixteen are children. What did the children do? I want to understand what did the children do. If a stone fell on a house, it will collapse. So what about a rocket falling on it? It destroyed them, burned them, turned them into pieces. The children are turned into such pieces that we couldn't recognize their features. Thank you.